What is up you guys? I wanted to take you through today what is probably gonna go down as one of my favorite videos of all time. I decided to completely overhaul my fridge. Overhaul the organization level, make it extra aesthetically pleasing. This had to kick things off though at the grocery store because we needed a ton of fresh produce. So Andre and I are going through a three week cleanse right now. We're doing a three week deep clean detox in the fit gym. I will leave all the details for it down below, but we needed to do groceries. So we did our groceries for about the first week it lasted well into the second week we're now into our second week now and it was an adventure to only purchase fresh produce no grains no meat not easy but i can tell you that only a week and a half in my body has completely changed like from the inside out i feel amazing my skin feels amazing and when you just you know eat super clean and you cook from home and you're not eating anything in packaged process containers obviously it's going to make a difference just common sense so i unpackaged all of our groceries i ended up going through and rinsing a ton of these and i started the process of organizing so i had been inspired by a couple of things i found on instagram as well as on pinterest and i wanted to take it up to beyond any level we've ever done on this channel so one thing that i purchased that is a part of this whole overhaul is this little planter so the planter actually came with a uv light so the planter itself has a base with a little, I guess, water catcher at the bottom. I tend to overwater my plants. If you've been following me longer than two seconds, you've got to know I do not have a green thumb. I'm actually terrible with keeping plants alive. So I was hoping this could help me. So at the grocery store, I bought a mint plant. I thought that having mint, fresh mint in the kitchen would be perfect, especially going through a cleanse. And just to add to the overall detox vibe of, you know, our three weeks and in our kitchen. So I just love this idea. And I will link this little pottery situation, this little potted plant situation down below so you guys can recreate this. But the watering system is really cool. You actually water it from the top. The light has a timer on it and it's like a UV light. So it actually helps the plant stay alive. And that was the other problem with me trying to grow things in our kitchen. It wasn't getting enough light. So I'm obsessed with this. The plant is still alive, so it's going amazing. And it's a great way to be able to grab some fresh mint, either for a salad, for a detox drink, which I'm gonna show you, and to be able to utilize you know, something fresh right in the kitchen. So that was the first step of my overhaul. But listen, this is really about the fridge. So this was what our fridge looked like before. Listen, not terrible at all. I just wasn't happy with it. There were crumbs. It was kind of just, things were just all over the place. And it wasn't, more than anything, it wasn't aesthetically pleasing. Now I had bought some clear containers that helped me out a little bit, but I still wasn't happy with it and I wanted to take things up to a whole other level that I had really really easy access that it was practical to be able to grab fresh fruit and fresh vegetables for snacks whenever I was hungry because oh my gosh on a detox you get hungry but also just have easy access to things like ginger and turmeric that we can put in our juicer and that it's not shoved into a bag and not clean does that make sense so I had this cute little tin container that I did some turmeric, some ginger, and some lemons in there. So I just really used containers that I already had, and I also purchased a couple extras from Amazon. So one thing I did that took me the longest is I went through and I rinsed everything. So I made sure that everything was clean. You, actually, you can actually clean your stuff with some lemon juice and some water, and I made sure everything was dried off, and then I chopped up things like apples, into little slices for snacks and then the green apples I did the same but into halves and quarters for our juice so we do a green juice in the morning and I use green apples so this way everything was prepped easy access on the go so that way there's no excuses because that's to me the biggest excuse is I don't have time and then you're tempted with other things so what I tried to do was just take everything as much as I could out of the fridge and then start to reorganize where I could with what I had. So anything that I didn't rinse and that just didn't need to be prepped, like the green apples and the red apples, I put them in their own bin, which you will see ends up being changed very quickly because it wasn't on another level enough. So I'm gonna take you through exactly what I did. You're seeing my whole thought process here, but one thing I knew I wanted to do was get some dates and some prunes out, just little things that I could have as snacks that could maybe satiate the sweet tooth cravings and help with that. I organized the veggies, all of the beetroots and turnips and onions and potatoes, tried to organize that all together, but I just, I still didn't love that things were all in bags. Like I wanted it to be displayed. Quickly, I wanna show you how I put away our peanuts and raisins and stuff like that. I have a full pantry organization, how I did these labels and everything. I can link that down below for you guys, but I had gone through and done that. The other thing I did is I got some fresh flowers. One of my favorite ways to spruce up a kitchen is definitely fresh flowers. And I feel like that little mint plant 
takes that on to a whole other level. Just having some fresh, you know, greenery in the kitchen makes all the difference. And I'm just loving the tulips. And yes, those are my margarita glasses that I use. You can get them at Michael's. So they're technically in the vase section, but those little fishbowl glasses, that's what I use for my margaritas. So it looked really cool with the flowers. All right. Now this is where things kind of took a turn for the better. So I had all of these little snacks, I had veggies, but see how everything's still in containers and it's not that accessible. And also for being honest, it's clean and much cleaner than my fridge usually is. I get it, but it wasn't that aesthetically pleasing. So I set up to make lunch. This is part of our detox and I had my detox drink, which is delightful. I have a couple of videos on how I make this detox drink, but ultimately there's a ton of fresh mint in there and it tastes like a cocktail and it's very, very good for you. So I was making us some very it was a faux cheese type of soup with some broccoli in there and then with my mocktail but after I did that I wanted to take the fridge up another level so this is where things get real I placed an order on Amazon for a bunch of mason jars these are just the regular shaped mason jars and then you can get the regular size lids for them you can also do the extra large ones with the extra large lids i just went regular which was the right choice and then i got these clear bins as well which i'm going to take you through so the regular size mason jars came in a pack of 12. so i used 10 for fresh fruits and veggies i'm going to show you exactly what i did now i personally just purchased pre-cut fruits don't do that it's way more expensive it was just for time's sake that I did it but you can buy the watermelon cut the watermelon so I just did this so that I could show you everything but definitely not the most practical or efficient way to do it so the other thing we picked up was some mango but I just think that it's so much cleaner to be able to display it this way and also planet friendly because I can reuse these glass mason jars time and time again so the other thing I did was some pineapple and you guys had asked this was a ticket TikTok video from earlier this week and you guys had asked to see a full breakdown of how I did it so this is you wanted to see what was in every single mason jar so I'm showing you so pineapple and then I obviously did some cucumbers the cucumbers were one of the fan favorites so if you have littles or just a hangry husband so Andre will come downstairs and look for a snack he just grabs this jar of cucumbers and he also grabs the carrots so easy access super great for on the go and he's got that to have as a snack and he can literally just grab the mason jar I don't mind that way I can just keep refilling it. The other thing I decided to do was cut up this freaking red cabbage because I always want to use it for salads, but it's never cut for me. So I just don't grab it and it ends up going bad and we don't use the whole thing. This way I have it, I can dump the whole jar in and then refill it as I go. I also decided to purchase some radishes, just having some crunch in our salads, just feel that much more satiated and you can use it as a snack too. They're actually super delicious and I never really consumed them before this cleanse. It's crazy how much new food I'm trying. So I really tried to go for, and just this is the aesthetically pleasing tip, I really tried to go for a bunch of different bright colors. And not only is that healthier, it's also just really pretty to the eye. So I went through all of the colors of the rainbow and naturally I needed something that was blue and something that was purple. So I had the radishes and that were bright red and almost like a pink. And then I needed a blue and that purple was the cabbage. So I had some red raspberries here and then I also had the blueberries that were super easy and also just easy access to do for a smoothie or for a grab and go. The other thing that I wanted to get out of the plastic container were these zucchini noodles. So they're just spiralized zucchini noodles. You can make these at home with a spiralizer and then I just kept them in the mason jar and they'll actually stay fresh longer this way too. So with the clear bins that I bought, I also got an egg container. I think this looks so much better than the ugly carton and also just way easier access. So I did that. Now, the way that I organized my beverages, I got rid of any beverages that weren't, you know, somewhat healthy and clean. I don't really use the cranberry juice, but just cleaned that out and I organized them by color. So same with the fruits and veggies in these clear, almost like a drawer, like a pull out drawer type of container. So I had two leftover mason jars that I used for herbs. I put a little bit of water in the bottom and it helped them last so much longer. So the way that this is so aesthetically pleasing and so beautiful is I started with just all the colors of the rainbow from left to right. So you can see everything that I've got in each of the mason jars and going from those colors all the way down. So I basically kept the colors in line throughout the fridge. That's what makes it so aesthetically pleasing to the eye. So even in the drawers, everything kind of follows that like red, through orange, yellow, green, blue, purple type of rainbow color. It's very home edit. I don't know if you follow the home edit on Instagram, but that's really how they organize their stuff. And I was very inspired by that. 
So within the drawers, I ended up putting some of those clear containers in there and I took the stuff out of the paper, out of the wrapping and out of the plastic so that it was just easy grab and go access. I also got some buffalo style hummus as like an option for us to dip our veggies in. Now, a lot of you guys are asking about meat. We're on a cleanse, so we don't have meat. Obviously this might change, but there's room in the drawers to be able to do that. And then leftovers, I can put them in the drawers, but we just didn't have any at this point. That was, that was a big question on TikTok and on Instagram. One of the biggest parts of this was having easy access snacks. So those cucumbers, some dates, these little packets of guacamole, I think they're called holy guacamole, great option. And then I love the little baby food, the organic baby food prunes, there's bananas, there's strawberries. Like I like it, I think they're delicious, especially the prunes. I know it's super random, but I like them. And then I just put all of our root vegetables in one spot so I could chop them up. And then any extra apples, and our citrus and then as well as the red and orange peppers are in there and then the beverages same thing I color coded them tried to follow that through the whole way and then the mason jars are right at eye vision level I put about eight I think nine across the front and then three of them were just on the next row behind and then there ended up being some dairy-free yogurt and stuff that got added to that shelf later on also and then all the pickles and salsa and red peppers and all that type of stuff is on the top top shelf so it totally worked out. I organized the door the same way, which is just our sauces and condiments. And I'm just so happy with the way that this turned out. And I really wanted to share it with you guys. And I truly hope that this brought you some amount of value and some amount of inspiration to be able to do this yourself or just to be able to go through it with me and enjoy it. So if you guys enjoyed this, definitely give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed and I will see you next time. Bye dudes.